go to image menu and apply image. There's the source file, that's the name of the file, merged, RGB, and go for add as the blending mode. 100% and set the scale to two. You can vary it, but if you set it to one, you will see more of the image. I'm gonna go with two, so you end up with a silhouette. Also, minus 255, you can vary that as well, put minus 60, again, you can see more of the image. So minus 255, you've got your silhouette, very quickly. You can also use that for drop shadows. So undo, and just duplicate this. So go to layer and duplicate layer, or hold down the alter option key and drag to duplicate it, click OK. And you can move it aside if you want, but select that background layer. That's the layer you want to select, that's the one you want the shadow. Of course, you could do it for the front one as well if you want that, for an unusual shadow. So again, image, apply image, Straight away, you can see your silhouette behind. Add, and two, and minus two, five, five. Click OK. You can resize it. You can also go to layer and smart objects and convert to a smart object. I like doing smart objects. It means you can change things and you can come back later if you think, you know what, I've made a mistake. You can undo the whole lot without undoing everything. So you can resize it. The original source data is still there because of the smart object. And you can see it's a smart object because of that little thumbnail there. You can also add effects to it, which can be changed. So filter and blur and Gaussian blur. I'm gonna go with about 30, 28, 36. You can vary it, click okay. You can also go to edit and transform. And I'm gonna go with distort, distort. Unfortunately, when you do that, you end up losing the blurring effect. It will return. You just distort it, just move it down there, and create it going off in that direction. You want to make it look realistic as if it's coming from that, the legs all the way up there, and you might want to change that at the angle. Just change it, you can create some, weirdly, it appears to blur when you do that. Very odd. So you can just stretch it off in that direction. Press return. Now you've got your blur. I want to change it and add a mask to it. So I can go to the layer, that's selected there. You can go up here and layer and add a mask, reveal all. But you can also go down here. Got mask there. So just click there, add layer mask. And it will be added there, side of this shadow. And you can apply the gradient, or brush strokes as well, but for reasonable as well. So just go here for the gradient, and I'm gonna go click that one there, so you can go up here, and you can see it's black to white, and you can change it. You don't have to go with black and white, you can go with a variety of different ones, but black and white is a very nice one to use. Click OK. And now simply just drag from bottom to top, drag upwards, and you can see, you can make it like the shadow has disappeared down there, and you've got the shadow there. We'll go the other direction, just try it. You might like, and you can apply it multiple times. It doesn't matter, it's set to normal. The blending mode is normal. As long as that's normal, you can apply it again and again until you're happy with the mask. You might want to stretch it a real long distance or just go really a long way. And you've got very faint there, but very dark there. And you just keep tweaking it until you're happy with that mask and the shadow. Of course, you can always go back here to the Gaussian Blur and change it. Double click, bring up this, and just say, oh, you know what? I want that slightly clearer there. Click OK, so you can see it like that. Once you're happy with everything, you can go to Layer and Flatten Image. And there it is. Your image, as well as your silhouette and drop shadow. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.